Taurus, I'm your mistress of manifestations and welcome to your dedicated reading for love. Cheers, my darlings. Now, these are general messages. Not everything here will resonate with you, but if it does, claim it 100%. I am going to be putting up your dedicated reading for your career, health, and finances next. Subscribe, hit that bell icon so that you do not miss out on that video. This is only about love. That is going to be about your health, career, money. That covers just about every beautiful facet of your life now, doesn't it? Now, take what's yours. Leave the rest. I will be using multiple decks to give you multiple messages, all right? And I'm sure <laughs> you will get your confirmations, your validations, and your answered prayers. Now, manifest your dream love, your dream lover with me. Are you ready? Let's first start with your first message for love, okay? Love, love, love. Let's see. Taurus, ruled by Venus. Beautiful. Taurus, oh my God, the whole day. <laughs> exalted Venus in your sign. Oh my goodness. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful energy. Okay. Taurus, please, spirit. Taurus, the love, please, spirit. Taurus, the love. Okay. You know, when this card comes out about gossip, I want you to be careful. There could be gossip about your current, you know, about whatever you are in. Or I also wonder if you should Focus on some kind of gossip or grapevine activity going on around you. I don't know why I feel the need to tell you this. If possible, do not confide your, you know, whatever it is about love to anybody else, especially a group of friends like these three women sitting together and talking. You know, not everybody really wants to help you. Some people really enjoy your discomfort in whatever situation. And I'm talking about love here. Do not indulge in gossip. Do not confide and do not believe in it. I, I mean, I know it's hard. I, I tend to also sit and listen to it and go, oh my God, just don't. There is some energy of somebody not being on the up and up here. I want to tell you this. Complacency. I don't know if some of you feel like taking a pause. You don't feel like pushing where it's coming to love as in, you know, going out, putting yourself out there or being out and about, socially active. Or you're dealing with somebody who's hella complacent. They just want to sit at home and I don't know. This person looks, you know, sitting on their sofa and everything around them is kind of dying and drying as in they don't even care. Look, if this is your energy, Taurus, come on now. I told you, you're Venus incarnate. I need you to get up, purify yourself, whether it's to, you know, sh sh you know, Get a shave, uh, go for a massage, you know, wax your legs or do your hair, male or female. If you are in this energy, how are you going to attract love? And on the other hand, you could also be dealing with somebody who's a homebody. They don't like to get their butt off the sofa. There's going to be a renewal and a recovery. I love this energy for you. I love this. You know, and this renewal, if you can see all the green here and all that which is dead and gone here, I don't know if there is somebody I'm talking to who's experiencing this autumn or fall of the relationship where everything seems to be boring. Um, what, do we mean, what do I mean by boring? It's like you both become extremely complacent. Nobody's making any effort. There is a possibility of a renewal and you may be able to recover this relationship back. This for me is like your second chances judgment. Now, as you can see, somebody's speaking. So I think communication is your key and there is a key here. Talk. Don't, if you're bored, if you're not happy, talk, express yourself, because that is the key to recovering and renewing this relationship if you want it to happen. But do not do the gossip thing. I don't know who that is for. Now, I'll take my Lenormans now for your second message, okay? That was your first message. Taurus, spirit, give me clear messages for my Taurus in love. Taurus. So my Taurus, please, spirit, love. Just love, only love. Okay. Guys, there is gossip here. Again, this is my card of Uranus in Taurus, which is very nervous excitement. And again, that means gossip. As you can see, the birds sitting here. They, I don't know why this is around your whatever is going on in your love life. Who is gossiping about you? Do you know that your friends could be gossiping behind your back? And because this is Uranus in Aquarius energy, you could be dealing with somebody who is at a distance from you. This could be your 
who somebody who is your uh, wish fulfillment. Look, this is also about hope and healing because it's Aquarius. I'm telling you, if you want to rejuvenate or recover, okay, a relationship, you have you have that possibility. You know, and because the recovery here is with words and then there's gossip. Did somebody catch you bad-mouthing them in love? Look, talk it out and tell them you made a mistake or, you know, it just, I mean, be honest. I feel that there's a lot of gossip here and it's not healthy. It is not healthy. Then I have the compass. This for me is a change of direction. Are you nervous about shifting those gears in a relationship, making it change that direction? Because I think somebody here is bored AF. And there's also somebody who's got someone gossiping about them. And then I have the clock, you know, when it's time. And again, this is a compass, direction and time. It's the right time to change the direction of a relationship. Okay. If it is extremely boring, change the direction, make it interesting. And whatever is happening is happening in divine timing. I'm going to take one more card. One more message. Thank you. Two cards. Oh, boy. Now, this is Jupiter and Sag. You could be dealing with somebody who's at a distance or who's a foreigner, completely different person from you. You could be able to fly over these obstacles, okay? You are. Now, it's flying over mountains. I don't know if somebody has to fly or you have to fly to meet somebody. There has to be some change. I think somebody's stuck in the mud. This relationship is stuck AF. And then I have the death card. Look, you can avoid the ending if you want to. But you got to make this interesting. It's a Scorpio energy. This is never a literal death. It's a transformation. Just like that, you know, that complacency where everything is falling off. And then you have the rejuvenation. Uh, whatever is falling off. Let it, it's it's the dead part. You have the chance to regrow this, I'm telling you. Trust me, you have the chance, but do you want to? Spirit, gosh, what, before I even said, what is this gossip, this nervous energy about these for Taurus? The compass, Taurus, clarifying these cards for you, my God. Clock, wow. Chip. My goodness. The death card. This nervousness. There's a king of cups. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. This could be a father. Somebody who's extremely loving. Okay? Extremely loving and caring. Very open to love. Nurturing, warm. Why are they nervous? I don't know if this person has heard some gossip because I have the gossip card, the, the birds, which is also messages, but very nervous tension, you know, it's not relaxed. With the change of direction, I have my nine of pentacles. Somebody here is making themselves single then because they've understood. I don't know if there is gossip that they, someone here has found out that somebody has been bad-mouthing them, and I know this. Look, I am not saying that it is you, but I think somebody is doing that about you. Just please take cognizance of this. But somebody here wants to remove themselves from a partnership and become single. And this person has understood their self-worth. They're taking their power back, and they're changing direction in their life. Maybe for a long time, they, they've taken bullshit from somebody or somebody has taken advantage of their sweet and caring nature. I want to put this out there too. Now it's a matter of time. It's about timing. There's a knight of cups. My God, from the king, you go to a knight. This could be somebody coming towards you with an amateur love offer or this individual from a king is going to a knight I, 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 I feel somebody is changing their mind about committing. Is someone here who's changing their mind about a commitment? Because a Knight of Cups energy is somebody who's very slow, who takes a lot of time to come in, but there's a lot of love. This is my uh, Scorpio energy. But they are very slow. I think somebody is freeing themselves from a commitment. And now they are going to take their time. 
before they jump into another one and they're willing to put in the time, they're not going to hurry. I feel this because they have been burnt in love. I don't know who this is. I do not know. You'll have to tell me. Comment below. Let me know. Now, with this card of flying, they're taking a pause. Were you expecting somebody to come towards you and they had promised they would, but they have suddenly changed their mind? I feel this. And now they're going very slow from the king. They're going to a knight. And they're almost staying in suspension. I think they may have canceled their flight plans to come and see you. You know, before this, they were willing to fly over any kind of mountains and hurdles to be with you. But now suddenly they have just stopped. They're looking for another perspective. Could be dealing with the Pisces. They are trying to find another way. There's something gone on here. I hope people haven't lied about you and gossiped. I, look. I don't know, but somebody is put all their plans in suspension. They have suspended all their plans. They're ending something. Look, and that's the Ace of Cups. I think there is a chance, okay, to whip this thing back to life. I think there is. Because it is somebody's Ace of Cups. It has got a lot of emotions, a lot of water energy. There's just water. That's emotions, love, feelings, care, nurturing, you know, beautiful, warm, hugging, kissing. It's all there. What disturbed it? I feel some kind of gossip. I don't know, somebody found something out about somebody from the grapevine or somebody badmouthed someone and somebody suspended activities. I think you can still renew this because the death card is never a death. It's always a transformation. You could be dealing with a Scorpio or a Pisces, Taurus. But I think there is a chance that you can you can rebuild this. You have free will. But you're going to have to talk because, you know, this recovery of this relationship is with talking and communication. I want to put this out there. Now, I'll take another deck. Okay, I'll take my Kipper deck. Let's see what Kipper has to tell you, Taurus. Taurus, please, for love. Pretty boy. Taurus, love. If I can pull these cards out. Hey. There's a huge age difference here. My God. I don't know why I feel I'm talking to somebody who's into finances. Please the masculine. One of you. What's what's up with them? It's called love. It's interesting. Again, okay. Hold on, if I can pick a card, my God. Thank you. Somebody wants to fly. Somebody wants to fly to see someone. Again, that ship energy. But in this, it's Neptune in Pisces. And this is my card of cancer, right? Home. It's like an older woman. Somebody is stuck somewhere, but they want to break free from it. Some kind of a bondage. Because see, this anchor can anchor you and make you feel stable. It could also make you feel stuck. But someone is breaking free and the ship is flying through the air. I think someone is yearning for someone. They want to meet somebody who's at a distance from them. But why is someone stuck? There is a stuck energy. Give me one more card, please. Taurus, thank you, Spirit. I'll just tell you what that card is, if I can... Thank you. Okay, let's clarify these cards. My goodness, there is, I can feel stuck energy, despair. I mean, not being able to move or make a decision. Somebody's not even lifting their head up. There's a huge, it's a shame involved here. My God, it's a mean mail. Older women. Wow. Ship. My goodness. Out of despair. I'm talking to somebody who's the main male. I don't know if it's a masculine. It could even be a feminine. But this is the main person. It's a lot of fears. You know, that same Uranian nervous energy. 
hidden fears, even secrets. I think somebody here is ashamed of a secret because they are in love with somebody who's way older to them. What's going on here? It's somebody who could be their mother's age. I mean, I'm not, I'm not saying this in a derogatory way. There could be a huge age. I'm not talking about under, I'm talking about somebody who could be, say, 25, but they've fallen in love with somebody who's, you know, in their 50s. There's nothing wrong with that, but perhaps they think it's a huge secret and they've been keeping the secret because they've fallen in love. This person is a race of cups. They want to go, but they are, they're still mourning over something. This five of cups energy is when something is over, but somebody is so depressed today. Has somebody dumped someone because of this age difference and they're afraid that what will people talk? Somebody can't get over this. They want to fly to you. I'm talking to somebody who has been dumped by somebody because, you know, they thought it was a taboo kind of a relationship. What is this? And this person wants to fly and rush, but they are, they, they are extremely sad that somebody broke it off with them. They're in despair at the high priestess. Again, Pisces energy. This could be, you know, a very spiritual connection. Could be an older woman, just like that person here. Somebody who could be a tarot card reader, something with esoteric and occult knowledge. So also be the third person. Is there an older woman here? I'm giving you all the messages I can. Who's having an affair with a younger person. And then they just broke it off. They just broke it off. Somebody's in despair here. And the five of cups and this for me, somebody cannot get over this. I think somebody broke, just broke something off here. Take one more card about this. There was a huge age difference. Perhaps that person was married and they just decided to break it off. I feel this. King of Pentacles. This tells me that somebody could have broken it off because they have money ties with somebody else. Or maybe they're dealing with somebody who's a king. Somebody who is very well put together. They have a lot of money. Or if this is what they want. Somebody here has been rejected, you know. At short notice. And they feel like they've been played. I want another card. The magician, says Mercury, Gemini, Virgo. I don't know if somebody has manipulated somebody. Um, I'm getting the loudest message here is somebody feeling used. You know, the low vibration of this is a trickster. Somebody has been manipulated here. Um, there's a huge age difference here. And somebody felt like they were someone's, you know, toy or their plaything for a bit to entertain themselves, but they never had any intentions of going any further. They wanted to go back to this person, somebody with whom they have, they have some kind of a connection. And in the meanwhile, they toyed with somebody's heart. And my heart, I, I'm so sorry to say that. And this is a master manipulator. You know, this and the high priestess, somebody super intelligent. They know how to manipulate things. And I'm so sorry that they manipulated you as well. They used you as a diversion. They never had intentions. Never. You need to bring about this change. You know, when this is when the this this card comes out, I always liken this to the chariot card, which is the fourth house, which is the cancer card, which is about the mother. It, there is something here with an older woman. I don't know if she's played someone, toyed around with somebody's feelings. There has to be a change in this situation. And I, if you are the one who's been played with, you have the power to change it, okay? Move away, literally pack your bags. And I'm not talking about physical movement. Move away emotionally from them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.
When you move away, and I'm talking about emotional movement, you're going to get the gift and the jackpot. And I'm going to set intention, this is of love. You know, somebody broke your heart in a very bad way. It's like they almost used you. Uh, it's like, you know, time passed because they were they, they needed something to play with. It's terrible energy. Terrible. My heart goes out to you. And you were there for them. You were. This person was married. They had never had any intention of going with you. And you thought you were the main person in their life. You weren't. I'm so sorry to say that, Taurus. But I can't sugarcoat these messages. I'm going to give you what I'm getting. Now, I'm going to take some messages from somebody you're not talking to, okay? Let's see what they want to tell you, Taurus, okay? So, the one, no communication. They could have ghosted you. Scott wants to fall off. Just one more. I know that. Thank you, Spirit. I bury myself in work to forget. You could have been dealing with an earth sign, you know. Taurus, like yourself, Virgo, Capricorn, somebody who, you know, money obsessed, likes all the fancy things in life, affected with brands, you know, wanting to create stability. They are just, they've thrown themselves in work to forget you. That means you've left a huge mark on them. This could be somebody who owns their own businesses or runs, you know, an organization or what can I say? Somebody who can use work as an excuse to divert their mind, or this could be a workaholic that you may have dealt with. I wish things could be different. They're, they're still thinking about you. Whatever it is that they're trying to do to, you know, get rid of your memories, they can't because they're still wishing that things could be different. Or if they, I think this person keeps playing the whole scenes from the beginning to the end, the dialogues, the movements, whatever you all spoke, whatever went on between that, you know, that time when you guys, whatever, they decided to dump you or leave you. They wish that things could be different because you came closer than anyone. This person perhaps has never allowed anyone to come as close as they allowed you. They could be somebody who's very obsessed, self-obsessed, narcissist, somebody who's, you know, workaholic. They don't have time. You broke that wall. You broke that wall, but they broke your heart. And I know this. My God, I love you. Wow. They really love you. They still love you. But you know, I'm getting a feeling of pity. And I'm getting a feeling of this person considers themselves to be the victim. Themselves. But they were the ones, I think, who broke something off because they were scared that someone was getting way too close. And that was you. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some cards. Where's my deck? Well, my situation style deck, okay? Let's see. What is the other message that I can give you for love? And then I'm going to take my angel answer cards, oracle cards for you. For that, ask a yes or no question, okay? It has yes or no cards. You can pause the reading at that time. Whoa. Now, God, for those of you who are not talking to somebody, crickets, silence, you know, that Pisces energy, complacency, you just don't want to talk to somebody because you're done. You've learned some lesson. I don't know what this is talking about. I don't know if it's got something to do with three people, gossip, heartbreak. But you're done. You've learned that lesson. You've turned your back. You have no idea what your next three cards are and I'm dying to give them to you. Somebody is going to come in who's going to be on the verge of confessing something to you. Look, I also want to tell you that there could be somebody coming back who wants to confess that they fucked up. I'm so sorry for my language, but you have free will, Taurus. It's up to you if you want to take them back or no, but there is somebody who's coming back to confess that they messed up, but there's also somebody who's about to confess something to you. Unconditional love. Soulmate. Your soulmate. They're coming towards you. But somebody here has been, what's the word? Bruised and battered, you know, in love. 
It's almost like they were tricked, manipulated into believing something while the other person never had any intentions. And I think they backed out in the last minute. In the last minute. Oh, boy. Trash. I don't like this card. Somebody treated you like trash. I know somebody's felt used here, and it makes me so sad and upset when I say this. They treated you like trash. They knew you were a disposable item, disposable goods, because they had somebody else in their mind all along. I'm so sorry to say this to you. I know they convinced you that you were twin flames. And I think they also convinced some of you that they were having problems in their, you know, in their partnership and, you know, you are their twin flame and so what if they have somebody else, da, da, da. They have given you some whole crappy spiel. They treated you like trash. And you believed that you were their twin flame and you thought, you know, you were supposed to go through all this. They're living a fake life, by the way. They used you as a diversion, and I'm so sorry to say that their life is fake. It's filled with embarrassed appearances. You were the real thing for them, Taurus, and messed it up. And now let me tell you what is coming for you. Whatever you've gone through, whatever had to break away and die, Archangel Michael is your divine protection. I'm getting goosebumps. You've been prevented from harm. You were dealing with a real master trickster manipulator. Remember that card about time and the compass, the cuckoo clock? It's him. He stepped in. Hi, Michael. He's helped you dodge a bullet. This individual was never going to commit to you. They only used you as a diversion, you know, that time being, that pit stop. They had somebody all along. They may have convinced you that, so what if they're there, you're my 20 flame. No, he is bringing your soulmate and your twin flame. He's the keeper of that. He has all your stored data of who you've come, you know. Your soul has signed a contract to meet some soulmates. He knows who they are. He's going to send them, the real ones, not the fake ones, not the ones who are fake, fake, not the clowns. I'll give you another message that I'm getting here. This person could have also been very trashy, as in don't be surprised if you hear some crazy, you know, gossip about them sleeping around. I'm glad, okay? that you could throw this garbage out of your life because when you keep trash in your home, it stinks. Put it in the bags, you know, segregated, dry, wet, I don't know, throw it out. Do not allow this person to keep treating you like this. Please, Taurus, please, okay? Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some angel land for cards for you. So are you ready? Let's go. Where is it? It's right here. Okay. You can ask your yes or no question, Taurus. For my Taurus love. Oh, today I don't know what's going on. The whole deck wants to come. Thank you for spending this time with me, Taurus. I hope you enjoyed your reading, my darlings. Don't forget to watch your other readings as well. I upload many, as well as angel messages, okay? It's one, thank you. I knew it. Look, if there was a question you asked, which was yes or no, the answer is unlikely. Okay, this is, I would say 50-50. <laughs> not a big yes, not a big no, okay? Please trust. There's a lot of Pisces energy. I trust your intuition, Taurus. Within the next few months, there is something coming towards you at God's speed. Now, it could be may you, where you may have to reconsider. I'm telling you, somebody's coming back to ask you for forgiveness. It's your choice if you want to. You have free will. The ball is going to be in your court. Just be assertive. And I want you to see 
you know, spirit never plays. The similarities on these two cards. There's somebody talking and the key. Be assertive is about speaking up and the key. You communicating what you want and especially what you do not want clearly is going to give people the blueprint, Taurus, of how they can treat you or not treat you in love. And that is something that some of you have forgotten. Spirit is telling you your way of communicating is the key. Open your Vishuddha. I have uploaded a small angel message about opening up your Vishuddha and talking. There is going to be somebody who's coming back. You know, give it to them. Don't mince your words. Don't sugarcoat it. Give it to them exactly how you have felt and experienced the relationship with them. Then if they want to do the work and raise their vibration to match yours, you can welcome them. Do not make a hasty decision purely based on emotions, okay? So my darling Taurus, these were the messages I have for you. Like, share, subscribe. Join my little community on YouTube, help it grow. I would be so delighted to have you as a part of it. All we do is set intentions for each other. I give you as many messages as I can. I do my best. And all I want from you is uh, your like, your comment, and your love. That's it. This too shall pass, Taurus. Do not worry. Spirit has your back. You are loved, guided, guarded, and protected. Follow me on Instagram if you so wish to. And until then, I'm just going to say namaste and I love you. Bye.